example from my presentation, Quintessentia, the perfect fifth element of the goddess and pentevalency of nature, which I've covered in numerous segments throughout my videos and films and things like that, which is basic sacred geometry, but it's the way I synthesize these things that is the incorporation of mythology and various aspects of etymology, and the way I synthesize and sync these things in a way that's entirely unique to my own style and adding my own representation to it. And special thanks to all of my patrons um, for sponsoring these videos and my channel, but especially David Benjamin Music and Daniel Fawcett. So both of you guys, thank you immensely. I would not be able to continue doing this work without uh, the two of you especially. For example, showing the images here from uh, Richard Merrick. But in the context that I'm using these things, it's entirely in a much more comprehensive context of synthesizing so many other aspects of that and how I'm synthesizing the, the basic facts of esoterica such as the pentevalency of the goddess in numerous different ways showing how these things that nobody else has ever pointed out here as to why the fifth element is the female goddess and why she is perfect this is a normal human DNA chain, okay? You, me, anybody, right? Watch this. The compositional elements of his DNA chain are the same as ours. There are simply more of them, tightly packed with infinite genetic knowledge, almost like this being was engineered. Is there any danger? No, 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 no. We put it through the cellular hygiene detector. The cell is, for lack of a better word, perfect. Reconstruction complete. Remove the shield. I told you. Perfect. And why the fifth element is love and ejaculation and the orgasm. Which you tell me how many other people have pointed that out, have figured that one out, and what the symbolism of the film is all about. It's about the synthesis, the Big Bang, and the coming together. Protect life. Until death. There are, there are some things, very nice things worth saving, some beautiful things. Beautiful things. Like love. Yes, love. That's good. That's good. That's a good example. Like love. Love is worth saving. Because. Tell her, uh, Corbin. Please. Do you need me? Because. Because I, because I love you. Two. One. So again, this concept is the depiction of the insemination or the moment of conception, which literally ignites at the moment where the sperm penetrates the ovum, the ophis and the ovum, the sperm and the egg, it ignites a big bang or a literal flash of zinc is emitted, a flash of light is emitted at the moment of conception, which is where the origin of the big bang actually syncretizes from in ancient cosmology and modern microbiology and modern science. And so this is the very essence of why the perfect fifth harmonic, the perfect fifth element, this is the very essence 
And so this is the very same symbolic imagery of where the the light, the light, the flash of light, the flash of light, and the rays from the sun, from the sun god, the sun, the solar god, the solar deity, the son of God, emits his radiant, glorious light, which literally irradiates and impregnates the female earth at the moment of conception where the light penetrates the egg the ovum which is the earth itself the female earth goddess the light rays penetrate and impregnate the earth with the solar radiation which gives birth to life on earth matrix which means womb the mother mater being the woman where all of life comes from the source of life Greek metra means uterus or womb, and meter, mater, matter, meaning mother, where pater, father, is the energetic pattern that gives rise to so-called matter, and thus geo, the word forming element meaning earth. The earth, coming from Greek Gaia, gives us geo, metri, geometry, earth measure, literally measure of the mother but more accurately the proverbial mapping of the womb of our mother, which we inhabit. We are all individual organ organisms, cells who work together within the body of the earth, forming organizations that we call a body of peoples. Within this matrix womb that is our mother earth, language reflects the roots and the path of our fractal pattern of nature in our universe, how that which we call God most refer to as a man, just shows us that we are cells that make up a larger organism called Earth, which is itself just a living cell that makes up a larger organism called a galaxy, which is also a feminine word which comes from geo, galactose, meaning milk, which is why we have the Milky Way galaxy, source or origin from mater, genitive matrice, meaning mother. But well-known facts are the, again, this is Richard Merrick here, this is the perfect fifth of harmonics of the human spine and the penta, but it's not new. It was Da Vinci the, er, and Vitruvius who had pointed out the pentevalency of the human body, which is well-known. And the well-known facts of Vitruvius, but combining it in an entirely different way that nobody else has pointed out before. And so getting into why the fifth element is perfect. It's because it's the five, the fifth, the phi ratio element of the pentagram. But the truth is that this is the major chord. It's the major fifth. It's the fifth harmonic, which is composed in musical theory. The fifth harmonic is, is a two to three, is a three to two ratio harmonic, which is symbolic of the very esoteric significance of the secret number 23. You know, Jim Carrey, the number 23, the esoteric sex magic of the number 23 is literally composed the essence of the 23 chromosomes that are each contributed in uh, from each gamete of the male and the female, 23 chromosomes that combine in order to produce a zygote, which is a which is an, a human embryo at the moment of conception. The 23 combined with the 23 to produce a human zygote, the 46 chromosomes, which is also the symbolic essence of the diapente, which is the perfect fifth harmonic, also called the diapente, etymologically meaning every fifth, but also di meaning two, and dia meaning across, as in to cut across, as in diagonal, to cut across, which is why the pente, diapente, is the cut, the divide of the pentagram, which composes of three points, two halves of three points each, if you cut a pentagram in perfect mirror symmetry and perfect bilateral symmet symmetry is composing again of the two and the three, the three and the two, the 23, the sex magic of the two halves coming together to create a human zygote, to create the human form, the perfect fifth harmonic, which in, again, in musical theory, and so this is the very meaning behind the, the secret meaning behind the lyrics of the song. Now I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. 
But you don't really care for music, do ya? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor falls, the major lifts, the baffled king composing hallelujah. <laughs> which composes the fifth golden ratio, the perfect fifth harmonic of the human body. And so this brings us to the sync that I've made with the pentevalency of the um, superior view of the human cranial fossa, or the cranial floor, which is again, the Vitruvian man, the pentevalency, the homunculus, the smaller fractal version of the human man, within the cranial floor or the cranial fossa from the superior view which is also again it's the pentevalency or the five pointed star the vitruvian man within the human within the the human skull but it's also the six axis it's literally a perfect six hexagram as well so it is literally both the five the pentevalency united and merged with the six axes or the six axis of the hexagram as well which is the five and the six that forms the human skull and we will i can't even begin to get into the hexagram the hexagonal nature of the human skull that in the human anatomy that will be for entirely separate full films dedicated and just to that aspect alone and so again the very meaning of the fifth element is the element of spirit there is earth air fire water and then spirit are also known um, in ancient greek as the ether um, in other words the element of the spirit which uh, in uh esoterica the spirit represents again the goddess in christianity it's the whole known as the holy spirit the holy spirit or again the f divine feminine the holy spirit is the the holy represented as the holy dove and so this the element of spirit is also representative it connects directly to the element of air and the element of fire because air is the element that fuels fire that gives rise to fire, which is equated with the element of spirit, because spirit is the is literally means breath. Breath, spiritus, literally means the breath. It means the breath of life. So, which is why we have spirits, which is literally the the process of alchemical distillation of the substance to its most subtle and its purest essence which is where we get the word quintessence from literally meaning the fifth essence from uh, from latin quinta or, or quint as in in spanish uh, quince or uh, from uh, quint in latin is fifth it literally means the fifth element it is literally the perfect fifth element of the goddess of the pentevalency of nature the distillation the alchemical spirit the process of internal alchemy and the process of transmuting the elements of earthly of earthly matter into spiritual fire or spiritual air the breath the the spirit of the the divine the soul the spirit of the ruach which in Hebrew was literally means the breath of God, the breath of life. That's why we call it the breath of life. The breath is what gives life. It's what creates life. And so this is the very meaning, again, the fifth element, quintessentia of the goddess, the element of the goddess, the pentevalency of the goddess is where we get the very word iambic, from, as in iambic pentameter which is the goddess of poetry and humor, Iambe. And so th this is why we write our, our poetry of love. Usually a poetry is written in Iambic pentameter. Is comes from the Greek goddess Iambe, who in Greek mythology was the Thracian woman, the daughter of Pan, who is the god of fertility of nature, and Echo, the granddaughter of Hermes, also a the fertility, the fertility spirit of, of the divine masculine, of the Herma, 
which literally the, the the sacred pillar the herma the hermes literally the again divine masculine as well as uh, fertility a servant of metanira arrived in attica iambe cheered the mournful goddess with her jokes and it comes she was believed to have given the name to iambic poetry for some said that she hanged herself in consequence of the cutting speeches in which she had indulged, and others that she had cheered Demeter by a dance in the iambic pentameter, or the iambic meter, which is the iambic measure, which is the the meter, matre is literally the root of metric is literally the root of mat comes from matric it is literally the root of the mother it meter literally means mother which is demeter is the divine mother and meter again as we covered in symbols power part three this is why the earth goddess is the matre the matrix the matriarchy the met metric of the measure of matter of mater where the pattern is the father the father is the pattern that gives rise to matter. The father is the mathematical structure which gives rise to matter. And so I, the goddess Iambe is the goddess of laughter and humor and poetry because she made Demeter laugh by lifting up her dress and showing off her yom. Demeter found this hilarious and all were uplifted by it and so is she later became known as the, the name Balbo and is depicted as a face of laughter upon the sacred yom. And these are the depictions of Iambe in ancient Greek, uh, literally just a, a face on a yom. And so that is the pentevalency of nature of the human being, the the perfect fifth, but also the 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 six nature, the sex nature of the human being, is, is so again. This is the very sim the very geometry of the structure of both chemistry as well as the human genome. The human DNA is comprised of the five and the six, the pentagram conjoining with the hexagram, or the pentagon and the hexagon. The five conjoining with the six which is the six or the sex nature of the human being is uh, also again the sexual number t sex magic of the number 23 which is comprised of again the two threes which are two tri tr three a, tri a trinity a triangle or a two tetrahedra come together two sets of three Two triangles come together to form the sexagram or the hexagram. Sex means is Latin for six, which comes from Greek hex, which is the hexagram, which is the sexagram, which is the sexagesimal, which is the 1260 ratio of the measure of time and space, and which is uh, again comprised of, which is composed of the sacred nine scale in harmonics and in geometry and in math. And so the, one of the key components of the measure of time is the 72, which is a, a segment of the great platonic year, the 72 or the 720 angle, which is again the angles of the tetrahedron. The, com the combined summation of all the angles of a tetrahedron are 720, which reduces to 72, which is why in the fifth element, they showed the countdown of the creation of Lilu, the perfect fifth element, with the num started with the number 72 on the clock. Well, I want to take a few moments to dive deeper into the symbolism and the deeper meaning of the giver here. Um, because it's highly important for the context of where the sync and the whole thread of this film is going. What do you think would happen if you skipped your morning injection? Which is the, the very thing that gives you that black and white, naive, um, uh, basically a mind control stupor. And so in summary, the entire theme of The Giver revolves around the giving of memory, the passing along of sacred memory of the past. And that includes, especially the highlight of it is it includes the very bad things that have happened because that is the only connection that allows us to retain the wisdom to not repeat our same mistakes. In other words, to not repeat our naivete and our nescience. And that is why the whole theme of The Giver revolves around the esoteric occult 
or esoteric wisdom of the giving of the apple and the passing of the apple from one to the next. This film is riddled with the theme of the sacred apple. And again, we've covered this fully throughout the and see the entire F Symbols of Power film series on my channel for it's literally it's riddled with Easter eggs all throughout that film series. So um, if you're new to this, so make sure to go back and see that for so much more depth. But so it's the passing along of the apple of knowledge, which is the wisdom. And it's reminiscent of the biblical um, story of the tree of good and evil, the fruit of the tree of knowledge. Again, in Symbols of Power film series. So see all of that for more context on this. But so the sacred fruit of the apple tree represents the wisdom of memory. And of course, this is the wisdom of genetic memory. In other words, the phylogenetic tree of life, as we covered all throughout the Symbols of Power film series is the somatic memory, the genetic memory which is passed down in the mitochondrial DNA which is the matriarchal, the, the matriarchal lineage of the sacred bloodline. Which again why the Apple computer again symbolizes literally the goddess fallopian tubes and the, the goddess uterus, the, the wisdom of the serpent taking a bite of the apple or in other words it, the man taking a bite of knowledge a bite of wisdom represented by the serpent swallowing the egg or the fruit in other words the symbolism of the fallopian tubes as we covered fully throughout the symbols of power film series so i won't go through all of this yet again which is why apple computers the first apple computer sold for 666 uh, dollars whereas it, it the complete inverse of that was the iPhone X sold for $999. But of course, this is the wisdom of the knowledge of 666, which that's a whole presentation and film in and of itself. It's far too vast and far too deep and complex um, scientifically and um, linguistically to even begin to cover in this video. So go back and you can see that full um, link. I will cite it in the video description down below um, my full presentation on fidget spinner 666 and the um, sacred numerology of the physics and creation of the universe which rep in summary it represents sex 666 represents sex 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 the the cube the cube of space which is the hex which is the cubic um, cubic lattice of space and time itself which I also plan on making in a future video breaking all this down much in full detail and full depth what I also call the pubic cube which we can't even get into but again the six the sexagram the hexagram is representative of the sacred act so of course um, that is what that all means and we've covered that fully in the symbols of power series so we can't do that here where in this society, this is where our society is now going. This is what they are quote unquote terming the new normal. It's time. It's time. Step on into the new normal. Is they are entering us into a gray state, which is a code word for police state. In other words, nihilism and apathy, a colorless, emotionless, sterile worldview and so they are so the mandatory injections in these stories is what causes this state of naive naivety and apathy or a a colorless emotionless world so they are like npcs they are the grays they are the zeta reticulized the grays the npc the non-playable characters these are they're checked out These are, it's, it's depicted in They Live and in all these other stories where they begin to wake up and they begin to see the world as it really is. They, they, in other words, they begin to see the true color of things. And this is why the symbolism of Jonas all throughout the story is when it, he, it begins, it, the story begins when he decides to um, inject the apple instead of himself with his morning psychotropic drugs which the psychotropic drugs such as acetaminophen are known and proven to shut down or atrophy the limbic system of the human brain which is responsible for our our feeling of empathy and care or in other words to empathize with the pain and the suffering of others which is known as literally etymologically known as compassion meaning to suffer with or together 
meaning to feel it to take on another person's suffering and so this is why the the psychotropic drugs as well as the pharmaceutical drugs they literally shut down our limbic system and they literally begin to kill our ability to feel empathy and care and emotions for others the apple of knowledge it, again the, being injected with the psychotropic drug rather than himself and that's what sets the story forth and after he receives his first memory from the giver that is when he begins to see the world the, the first glimpses of color in the world and it also begins when his partner Fiona in other words Adam and Eve this is why she is symbolically depicted as the redhead as Lilith as Eve as Venus as Freya as Frigga the red-headed goddess of of love and beauty and fertility and emotion she represents the emotions of the world the divine feminine and when she awakens the first thing he sees is her bright red hair and so also as i fully covered in my presentation quintessentia the perfect fifth element structural design of human anatomy as well as combined with what i call astrophysiology is literally i did a whole presentation this is what i um, presented um, in phoenix arizona this past year and i need to re-record that entire presentation but so in, in anyways this is this is why the apple and the redhead represents the sexual awakening is because again as we've covered in symbols of power is the fruit of the tree of knowledge means to awaken to your sexual nature that's what it meant that what the biblical usage of the word to know meant it meant he knew her and he and then they realized that that they were naked once they um once they began to know each other and you know this is why i want to get to know you girl over some girardelli chocolate is because it's referring to the uh, the awakening of the goddess the sexual awakening represented by the goddess fertility fruit which is the apple which is representative of the goddess vulva which is seated at the very core it is so her core of the apple of which is a vulva um, which also represents the pentevalency of Venus, which is the, the archetypal. We covered all this in, pre, in all of my previous videos before. Um, but again, this is why Venus tracks a, the pentevalency in the sky. The retrograde motion of Venus creates what's known as the beautiful rose. Rosa Bella. And of course, uh, we've covered all this in my other presentations as well. The, of course, this is why the rosebud or the rose blossom is representative of the female vulva as well. So the apple core is where the se sacred seed is buried deep inside her core, at the, uh, which is why it's representative of both the vulva and the aspect of the planetary aspect of cosmological Venus, as well as the mythological aspect of Venus, infertility, love, beauty, reproduction, and all things of the sacred maiden of Freya. And there's so much more to this. I mean, it, it's buried and scattered all throughout literally almost all of my entire works. So I need to compile all that somewhere, either in one of my books or something, but it's scattered all throughout every one of my presentations. And in ancient times, the red-haired goddess was um, was seen as a crazy wild woman because of the red symbolized her um, wild, uncontained emotions and and passion and sexuality, which represented the red of the fire and the red of the goddess um, menstrual blood and the the feminine fire of the chalice of the goddess. And so there's so much more of that. Again, see Symbols of Power full film series for the entire context of all of that. It's literally like eight hours long. And so again, when they both begin to wake up is when jo the Jonas begins to feel his first 
emotions of love and sexuality for Fiona. And so the symbolism here again is boom, Fiona apple. Because again, Fiona's apple represents the, the fruits of the tree of fertility, the fertility fruits, which is the fruit. Apple literally means a fruit, any fruit. It doesn't refer specifically to it etymologically means any fruit. And so the apple is symbolically equated with the cherry of the goddess. So it is representing her cherry, her sacred fertility of Fiona, Fiona's apple. There's a place where life is simple. People are perfect. And everything is black and white. Honey, I'm home. It's a place that's as far from reality as we can imagine. How about some marshmallow rice squares? Those are swell. But maybe it's a lot closer. Let me see that. Than we think. Supposed to be in school. We're supposed to be in color? What's all the commotion? Who's that? I didn't think you'd want to come here until we'd been pinned for a little while. You can pin me anytime you want to. Or maybe I should just pin you. She's a fine young woman. She would never do anything for us to be concerned about. <gasps> From the creator of Big and Dave. What are you doing to these people? You can't do this to them. You're messing with their whole universe. Maybe it needs to be messed with David comes a story about the loss of innocence. Oh, I brought you something from the library. Gee whiz. And the power of change. Well, what's outside of Pleasantville? There's some places where the road keeps going. Cinema presents. Look at my face. It'll go away. I don't want it to go away. Something is happening to our town. And so again, this ties us yet again to Bill Gates and his and their AI, um, the, their new normal. They're, this is the world that they are in. That we. This is the world that they are entering us into. It is your responsibility if you do not stand up and dissent and speak out right now then you will be complicit in going along and and participating in in that type of world because it is up to each one of us to make the choice when the choice comes down to it to understand that this is the worldview that they are um, that the path that they are leading us down and also another subliminal symbolic um, message that I wanted to cover in The Giver, but I haven't ever had a context to, so I'm glad I get to get this out now. It's, my name is Cullen Smith. This is Lifting the Veil. You can find all of my full books, presentations, videos, films, articles, posts at subscribestar.com slash lifting the veil. Patreon has suspended this work and my account and income stream for this content. So if you are a supporting patron, then please, I ask you to move your support over to subscribestar.com slash lifting the veil and I have just established a completely free uncensored totally free speech social media platform that replaces Facebook Twitter YouTube every other platform all in one on liftingtheveil.locals.com you can download the locals app and you can join our group and have totally free speech and totally uncensored unrestricted content access and um, there are, is also a ton of exclusive content and I will leave the cited reference links in the description down below so you can check that out for all of my full content and I will see you guys in the next video I rely solely on word of mouth and the recommended algorithms are not recommending any of my videos or films anymore my channel has literally been completely restricted so i rely on your help by sharing my work around if you appreciate it and uh leave me your comments i definitely want to know what you have to share and what you have to think about all of this stuff and i will see you in the next video